Hey guys, it's your girl Miss Annie J and today I am going to get into being single. So I'm going to go through a few things. Be sure to stay tuned and I'm going to be right back. See the new girl vibe, she in her stride. She goes side to side, she goes tap, 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 tap. See the new girl vibe, she in her stride. Go side to side. Let's get straight into it. Don't beat yourself up for having standards. People get trashed because they have certain standards. Don't get me wrong, there is a very big difference between having standards and having a wish list. Okay? Somebody who is six foot plus, muscular, those are all things that are on my wish list. But they are not a necessity. If I meet somebody who meets my standards in terms of what I expect from their character, the things on my wish list become very low priority. To give you an example of what my standards look like, somebody who is a person of faith. And let's not forget, Having standards is having a reasonable level of expectations in terms of the quality of man that you want to meet in the future. Another one of my standards, somebody with strong family values. If I met somebody and they are at war with their family, that for me is a no-go. I, I come from a family that are very close-knit. We support each other and things like that. And if I can see that your relationship with your family is strong standing, if I marry you, I am going to become a part of your family. So if your relationship with your family is in dissension, then that's not something that I personally would like to walk into. There may be real valid reasons why somebody does not have a relationship with their family because it's not just a person that can low-key be a demon. It can also be people in their families. You have to just sort of ascertain and use your discernment to figure out the reasoning behind why their relationship with their family may be in jeopardy. Now, another one of my standards is I would like to be with somebody who is goal orientated, a man with vision. Because if you are going to end up partnering up with somebody who has no vision for life, then if I join on that no vision bus, it's going nowhere, right? You're just going to infinity and beyond. That is not what I want for myself. I want somebody who has vision. They're working on things. And it doesn't mean that the man must have everything right now in this moment. I get it. Okay, when you get to a certain age, you don't necessarily want to deal with somebody who is starting from scratch in terms of what it is they're trying to attain in life. Once you get to a certain age, as women, we do just are like, we're over it. I just want somebody who has landed or is on their way to land rather than somebody who is now starting up from fresh. That is down to your discernment and your preference. But for me, if you feel like somebody is just selling you a dream so that they can work their way into your life, be aware. Remember, red flags are are there to tell us what we need to know so we can keep it moving. Pay attention to anything that is like significantly off. It is so crucial to ask the difficult questions at the outset. A lot of people skip those difficult conversations at the beginning in order to maintain that honeymoon period and show just the best version of themselves. Now, for those of us that are single, we are able to learn these things before we even get into anything with anyone. Clue yourself up. And I've also taken note from my own personal experiences because experience is the best teacher because when you go through a bad experience it is very unlikely that you will ever go through an experience like that on a second time running and if you have it's time to call your pastor and go to church <laughs> let's be real invest in finding out about marriages because let's let's not lie guys it's probably under preparation i've heard so many married couples tell me that marriage is hard work and guess what i believe them but how can i do the foundational and groundwork to ready myself for when that person enters my life and then it's time to move forward so that if there are bumps in the road we know how to deal with it effectively as a team and without playing the blame game and getting into unnecessary arguments be ready so you ain't got to get ready now guys i know a lot of us have been waiting a long time okay the single life has really been singling however and i cannot stress enough that patience is truly a virtue if you are impatient so you are willing to entertain somebody who should have no ounce in your life that is likely to lead to unhappiness unfulfillment and eventually a breakup impatient is key 
in being single impatience can sometimes lead to desperation because you just succumb to your urges rather than listening to what is in this brain don't get me wrong as women we are emotional creatures somebody says the right lines here or there you know they really minister to your feelings and all of a sudden why feed up in the wrong situation so guys here are five reasons that i'm going to give you for why maintaining your level of patience is so important and key number one you are going to be less likely to compromise on your standards when you are patient you will wait it out the storms and the floods may come wolves monsters the demons they will try but if you hang on to patience you will be able to sift the nonsense out the door whilst you patiently wait for your future spouse number two you'll be more likely to allow yourself to think with your brain rather than getting caught in the clouds with impulsive emotions or physical cravings. So when you're patient, you're going to have your thinking cap on. And that is very important for us women. Now we've all heard about Tinder Swindler and very similar stories or the shams that go on and it is very easy for somebody to get duped if you're patient you're going to really figure out and allow time and really be discerning as to somebody's real intentions rather than oh he's good looking and he's interested in me and i'm here single and my family keep asking me rather than thinking in that type of mindset you are actually going to be thinking wisely because if you think with your emotions or your body you're going to find yourself in a possibly damning situation and we don't want that another reason why patience is very important you give yourself the opportunity and ample time to work on your self growth the time that you spend and being single is the best time to discover yourself to work towards your goals not to take care of yourself your hair your nails this is the time that we are able to invest in it and like guess what when i meet my husband i am just going to be an entree mains and desserts I have so much self-contentment and i'm walking in confidence and i am a great catch that is where we want to get to no more playing games we ain't got time for the guys who are going to waste our time nope this is the time we are taking to invest in ourselves so that we can be the best version of us when we meet the right man so you are ready when you get there another reason is because you give yourself time to overcome past hurts and traumas and you're able to build resilience we all need healing time if you've come out of a disappointing or upsetting or traumatic relationship or the like even if it was years ago however long you end up spending by yourself is the amount of time that you should use to better yourself use the time that you now have being on your own to get yourself back to a certain level of mental strength and resilience like i said experience is the best teacher and i'm sure if you are somebody that has been through a very horrible relationship that you never want to go there again but even if you haven't you may have past hurts and traumas from other events that have taken place in your life across the years everybody has been through some sort of saddening depressive traumatic event and we all need time to heal and process and get over that but the reason why more specifically around if it was a negative relationship is because the last thing you want to do is judge your future husband based on your past boyfriends because remember if you're working on your self-development your growth you're bettering yourself you're not going to end up being with somebody who is similar to the men that you have had in your life where you had a negative experience because you have now got your thinking cap on you are not going to entertain nonsense you are never going to do it again when you meet your future husband you do not want to bring the judgments that were created from that negative experience into his life because now that can end up causing issues in your new marriage or relationship whatever it is that you need to go and do to release this pain do it ladies because it is going to be beneficial for both your future and your husband's future and for your marriage as a whole for the majority of us it's going to take some time it might even take some years be patient and work on your yourself in terms of any traumatic experiences because guess what you can overcome it but you need the time to be able to do so the fifth reason why it's good to be patient is because it will lead to increased confidence giving yourself the time to overcome past hurts and also working on your own self growth and development it's going to increase your confidence and if your confidence is increased it is attractive when a woman knows who she is when she has confidence in herself and she 
has belief in her ability that is going to transition and be readable to any potential men love it when a woman is confident in herself at is the type of women we are trying to be assured in who we are your husband's going to love it when people say oh you know i want to be with somebody so i can be made whole excuse me no i do not need a man to come and add 50 50 percent to what please i beg only god a man that is of good standing a man who knows his worth he is going to add to who i am already and it's going to work both ways you should both come into it 100 percent. i'm not somebody does not make you who you are that all comes from above and within so that's something that you need to work on and the person that comes into your life should add to what you already are now for some of us the clock is going right and i don't mean the reproductive clock i just mean generally you know we are becoming more seasoned the time that i have had to be by myself to build on myself i know has made such a massive difference and the way i look and act and feel within who i am now is a very different version from who i was when i was in my early 20s so do not be disheartened by the fact that you are growing older that stuff doesn't matter because when it's meant to happen for you is when it was meant to happen for you i decided not to settle with somebody who i was with on a mid to long-term basis because i knew that in the future our marriage would not have been successful so whatever stage you're at do not knock it if you feel lonely don't settle for rubbish please ladies please don't let's not do it i'd rather be single i am single and proud the person that i feel and believe is for me i'm going to be ready but i am not going to entertain somebody unnecessarily when i know that that is not going to go anywhere and in the process of it not going anywhere it's now going to affect the work that i have done within myself no ma'am mm -mm, negative i feel blessed for the position that i'm in whether there's days that i don't feel like that which does happen i'll be honest because i'm human when i think on it on the grander scale of things i feel that it has happened for a reason and i embrace it it is important to review your standards and your wish list from time to time maintaining your standards very unlikely to change because they will likely be centered around your core values and what you believe are good characteristics of somebody and also of yourself and the standards that you hold are likely to be reflective of the type of person that you actually are so that is why i'm saying that they're likely to be unchanged but that wish list yeah recognize that it is a wish list so if you are looking for the perfect he has to tick this 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 they're variables they can change at any time they're not key to who a person actually is it's time to have a look at them okay you have to give somebody an opportunity if they meet your standards and their core values align with the values that you also have because of the person that he is his values his vision that is the driving force of what will push you forward not the fact that he is muscular and built imagine he got sick and he lost all of that physique then what now is it time for a divorce or what we have to review what is on our wish list specifically rather than our standards mark the things that you are willing to compromise on in my own personal opinion the things that are on my wish list i can compromise on all of them they are surface level it's just things that i would like i know for a fact that i'm not going to meet somebody with all the items on my wish list when you meet somebody who meets your standards be willing to give them a chance because otherwise you could potentially be robbing yourself of future happiness because of the fact that you've turned your nose up at somebody because they're not over six foot or whatever the case now the last thing that i will say is in regards to dating thanks to covid lockdown technology and how advanced things have become and the fact that so many of us work from home and things like that it's not always possible to be in an environment where you are exposed to somebody who could be a potential perfect match for you i don't think that there's anything wrong with dating online speed dating put yourself out there a little bit make sure that your discernment is switched on because crazy people exist face to face as well as online and be patient with it i'm not going to lie online dating will drain your soul to another level from my personal experience however if you hold on and you just keep sifting through the ones that are a, a complete negative, at least you're putting yourself out there to, in some capacity. Because I hate to break it to you ladies, Prince Charming, your future husband, is not going to just drop on your doorstep. 
that's not going to happen the chances of it happening are probably slim to none sometimes we just have to be realistic if like me you tend to be at home a lot then personally i don't think there's anything wrong no one cares about the backstory because i know people who have met their spouse online and they are now happily married and have children together just try and get yourself out there i hope that you have found this useful if there are any questions that you want to ask me please don't forget to drop me a comment and whilst you're there please don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new if if you are a veteran subscriber guys you know what the love is we do this we do this and i'm so grateful that you guys are sticking it out with me it's your girl miss annie j and until my next video i'll see you guys again soon bye Feeling on a melody, I'ma be your remedy No time for the jealousy, this is just a gift to me Sun is shining down on me, making juice so readily Like tap, 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 tap I'm a big bad B, shaking down the house on a rhythmic street